Something that I find is very fascinating to think of is when all these emerging technologies that we tend to think of, you know, separately today comes together in the future. What kind of world we will be living in then? Um, imagine that Internet of Things will give things such as lamps, chairs, um, doors, and etc their own internet connections and uh, edge computing will allow these things to process the data they gather locally together with artificial intelligence and machine learning that can actually make sense of this data. Um, these things will then no longer be just things, they will become important decision makers. Hi there, welcome to today's video. I feel like it was yesterday that people started to talk about the cloud and now we're already talking about the edge. Uh, if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. I post videos every week about emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things, uh, crypto, and much more. All right, so in order to understand edge computing, we first need to go through what cloud computing is. Uh, so cloud computing is basically uh, a service that delivers computing resources on demand. Uh, so when someone says that their application is cloud-based, what it really means is that uh, it's hosted on uh, some distant computers that is owned by someone else, for example, uh, IBM, Google, or Amazon. And uh, instead of like having everything locally on your computer's hard drive, uh, they have it on the cloud. And a good thing about the cloud is the flexibility that it offers. Uh, you pay for as much as you use. Uh, so let's say, for example, like you want to build something, then you don't need to go and buy a lot of expensive hardware to host and store your stuff on. Uh, but instead, you just pay the cloud service for as much space and computing power that you actually are using. Most of us are using uh, cloud-based solutions already on a daily basis. For example, uh, iCloud or um, Google Drive. And it's been the thing for a while when it comes to applications that needs a lot of computing power or a lot of storage, uh, especially uh, applications that have artificial intelligence and machine learning in them uh, because artificial intelligence and machine learning both need a lot of computing power and also storage. Uh, so it's been relying on the cloud-based uh, or cloud to do the heavy lifting. So the idea behind edge computing is to uh, push the cloud services closer to the edge of the network, uh, to the devices that actually gathers the data from the beginning. Uh, so basically we wanna process the data at the very machines that gathered the data from the beginning and make local decisions at those machines instead of uh, centrally at the cloud. So um, edge computing can be seen as some kind of, you know, decentralized um, cloud. And you might not think like, why is edge computing needed then? Like, wasn't the point from the beginning uh, with the cloud that we didn't want to store everything locally on our computers? And my answer to this is that Internet of Things is approaching us faster and faster. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what Internet of Things is, it basically means that uh, more and more things, like physical things, uh, will be connected to the internet. So things like your fridge, your dishwasher, uh, your coffee maker will all have their own internet connections and they will be able to gather data um, locally and also become important uh, sources of data. So imagine that your fridge, for example, keeps track of all the food it contains and has data about it. So when you are low on milk, it can decide to go online and it will order milk for you. And all these like connected things uh, will be like data or gather data like this. And we will want to use it, this data for making various types of decisions. And um, this means that the amount of data that is being created and sent over the network uh, to the cloud where most of the computing is done is vastly increasing um, and burdening the network with more and more traffic. But if the connected things could do uh, computations and analytics locally with the help of, uh, for example, machine learning algorithms, uh, it will significantly reduce the amount of uh, data that is being sent through the network and also reduce the bandwidth needed between the central server and the 
things that generates the data and instead of sending the data constantly uh, some kind of daily summary can be sent only like once or twice each day but when it comes to making important uh, real-time decisions uh, edge computing significantly reduces the latency uh, for the information to travel to the cloud and then back and also it strongly benefits uh, devices and things that are not continuously connected to the internet but are still expected to make um, smart decisions while they're not connected. So that was basically my little summary of edge computing and why it's needed in the future. Uh, if you are interested in emerging technologies, which I assume that you are since you watched this video, uh, then I highly recommend that you do some research on your own on this topic because uh, edge computing is something that we will see more of in the future especially when internet of things becomes more mainstream uh, and if you have any questions please let me know them in the comments below otherwise i'll just see you guys in my next video